Tabitha, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys certain things, I think, and a number of girls think, that I should not be doing. Like, you'll have to stop doing that now. And I don't know if you're going to ignore the background and focus on me only, or enjoy the background as well. Anyway, this is my humble home. You're welcome. This is the, this is the bedroom, this is the kitchen, and yeah, kitchen, bedroom. The bathroom's outside. Yeah, anywho. Vicky doesn't want me to post that part. I may or may not. We'll see. But yeah, welcome to my humble, our humble home. Now without wasting much of your time, let's get right into this video. So, guys, um, get ready. Take your notebooks and your pens because I'm going to be giving you real tips. What not to do. What you need to stop doing like yesterday. You need to stop doing that. Yeah. Um, number one. Asking for pics. Guy. By Instagram, I'm a posita. By Facebook, I'm a posita. By WhatsApp, by post. Like, why do you need an actual picture? Because first of all, you don't even know what zone I'm in. You don't know what element I'm in. You don't know how I'm feeling. Like, maybe I'm just seated there. Looking like Frankenstein. Looking like a hobo. Looking potato-ish. And then you're asking for pics. See, just because I look this good on YouTube... And for the gram doesn't mean I'm seated in my room looking that good just waiting for a fella to ask me for a pic you get like just take a screenshot from whichever pic I post keep that in your gallery when you miss me look at the picture what's so hard about that yeah stop asking on behalf of myself and all the other girls trust me this is all the girls in the world I do know that because I talk to them this is all the girls in the world they, they don't want that they don't like that not even your girlfriend likes that don't ask you for pics from your girlfriend mm. yeah the next one is being touchy um there's some of you that just can't greet a person without touching touching them oh how are you I miss you <laughs> So, you will voice here, cool. we can't see it unless you use your hands. Like, don't touch me. Hey, hey, Mundi, how are you? How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Well, nice to see you. That's it. Don't touch me. Girl, don't touch us. We don't like being touched. I repeat, we do not like being touched. Especially just anyhow. Like, we just meet you on the road and... Uh, don't do that. Yeah. And then, um... Number three. This is a personal thing. Yeah listening to your bros and this goes both ways also listening to your homegirls especially over relationships like listening to your bros or listening to your homegirls this goes both ways actually but especially in a relationship like you know the person more than anybody else knows the person people only your friends probably only know the person when you complain about the person or when you say some random nice thing or whatever but like basing your whole decision off what your friends say guys no don't do that Girls want someone who can make their own decisions, okay? Like, don't be going every single thing you rush to your homeboys to complain about it, talk about it, then you 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 act upon that thing that your homeboy said. Like, if you ask so for advice so much, like, just be alone because you can't make your own decisions, you know? Like, don't do that. Don't don't stop. Nobody likes that. It's a it's a relationship. It's not it's not a community project. You get so like just try more for a lot of things. Try to work it out amongst. I mean. Sorry, between the two of you, you know, you don't need to call back counsel now. Like, okay, this is what Mary has done. Counsel, what do you think? Oh, this is what Monte has done. Counsel, what do you think? Tell me, should we cancel her or should we give her, put her on probation? Eh. You are the one who knows the person. So don't be going to your homeboys for advice all the time, then acting upon the advice. You know, yeah, it doesn't work like that. It shouldn't work like that. You don't need to stop doing that. Anyway, I've gone to the next. <sighs> that was a little rant. Okay, we're cool now. Moving on to the next one. Over trying. Guys. You know that thing? That thing? A lot of guys like saying, like, girls like to play hard to get and all that stuff. Okay, maybe, the, yeah, there's probably some girls that do the hard to get thing and they don't want to look too easy and all that stuff, which is, which is fine, it's cool. But sometimes the girl just doesn't want to. So, anyway, now it's not time to start kids forcing and pushing and trying, calling, texting, wanting to meet up. If you ask a girl if she wants to meet up, like maybe two or three times, she's given an excuse. Now, it's time for you to use common sense. Like, 
some girls are they're not uh, so so straight up they're not gonna be so rude to you maybe they, they, they just want you to get it like they don't want to chill with you they don't want to see you they don't want to talk to you but they're not gonna tell you you get so that's time now use common sense like this girl it's not about she's being hard to get. She just doesn't want me. She doesn't want you when you move on your channel and the next girl, you know, there's probably someone's going to want you. For me, I am straight up. If I don't want you, if I don't fuck with your vibe, I'm just going to tell you, like, and go. Bounce. Okay? Yeah, <laughs> like, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. This is not going anywhere. So just, uh, try more next. Maybe they'll, they'll yeah, I'm sure they'll, they'll fuck with you. But here, no. But some girls won't do that. So don't be over, when the girl is, refusing sometimes it means she really is refusing don't keep on insisting and forcing the situation and all like don't force it you know yeah and the next one is what's, what's the next one what's the next one acting like oh no 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 the next one is yeah the, the next one is asking what the person is doing every 15 seconds like so you got my number with all your energy all your morale you got the number you slide in the dm and then anyway it's like we'll the content every 15 minutes you want to ask what i'm doing you don't have anything to say like with all that energy with all that hype you know i know a convo is between two people but like it's boring you ask me what i'm doing i tell you 10 minutes later again i tell you the same thing because i'm probably still doing the same thing 40 minutes later, I'm probably still doing the same thing. Plus, right now, it's quarantine. I'm lying in bed. So, you ask me the last question like 100 times a day. Nishi, what are we making? Why are you boring? Why are you dry? Why did you come to this DM? <laughs> like, why did you come to this DM if you're boring? Like, uh-uh. You get, like, we don't like that. It's boring. It's so boring, you know? There's probably, like, 10 other people we need to respond to. So, you texting about what you're doing every... It's not going to work. Probably just not uh, respond, you know? We'll stop responding to your DMs yeah and the next one is posting your money guys okay yeah we do know girls uh girls a lot of girls they like money guys like money too everybody likes money but posting your money isn't the way that you're gonna get the girl okay like there's no need for you to like show that you have money see if you have money because that's the chat and drama because in drama they don't need to post it to just be like mm, okay guy we are in a drama like and then yeah but you for posting him but why so that's what so that could take a journey that's not game in fact that is so in fact it's ratchet you get it's ratchet it's cringe you know i whenever i see such things i just cringe like so like wait Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not, maybe, let me not make it seem like you're doing it for girls. The guys who do that, uh, feel free to comment down below and give me your reasons for doing that. Maybe, maybe, okay, whatever it is though, I just feel like it's a weird flex and it's unnecessary. Yeah. And then the next one is complaining too much. <laughs> this one. Now I'm about to sound like a bad person right now, but uh, trust me, I'm not a bad person. But D, you know, when you just start talking to a girl. You don't want to seem like you're too you have bagage you've seen like so much bagage you know this month i don't even know where they went to come from mm, so apa, only have five quarter my bundles are finishing my great grandfather died of shanshan disease all my parents are divorced hey. that is deep like i just scaring me i feel like you have problems like that's not the vibe you know like we just started talking save those things for your girlfriends or when we're in the relationship at least because now it just feels like you have too much things going on and now the girl has problems you also have problems and then you just come together now it's just making you're just making problems but it's a bad vibe it's not working so try to be as fun as possible especially when you just start talking like those problem things like of course it's good to vent it's, it's 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 yeah it's it's healthy you should vent you should have someone to vent to yeah but don't make the girl the person you vent to when you just start talking like <laughs> i mean okay you probably don't have friends i'm sorry but uh, as in 
it's not the right time yeah it's not the right time the beginning is not the right time you, you, you get me yeah and then the next one is oh this is actually the last one fun girling the girl yo you need to stop doing that the girl doesn't want to seem like she doesn't want to feel like you're a fan because there's probably other guys in her dns that's just acting normal they're acting natural treating her just normal and they're acting all guyish and stuff and then there's you friend girling her acting too cheesy oh yeah the best girl that i've ever had d when i see you your smile is so brighter than the sun me the earth to the moon i would work for you shani that's unnecessary and that's also cringy you know like don't do that don't 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 do that because you're gonna seem even if you're not you're gonna seem like you're kind of uh, she's kind of out your league she's gonna it's gonna seem like she's kind of out your league and just so glad to have such a glorious uh, <laughs> no guys don't do that okay don't do that don't do that don't don't be doing that just even if the girl is so if, if even if you think she's so bomb she's so everything and all that stuff don't overshow it's like that you know like just keep your cool keep your cool keep calm you know remember your game and yeah just just let it flow let it vibe you know yeah that's all i had for you in this video hope you enjoyed it and if you liked it you know what to do share it with your friends and subscribe and um also a special announcement um when we hit 200 subscribers we're gonna uh share with you the date oh no fuck not the date the day the day of the week that we're gonna start posting we'll be posting weekly now but we gotta reach 200 subscribers first so share this video if you like it and gonna be getting consistent videos from b and t upon um us receiving 200 subscribers thank you so much for watching see you next time bye